Pithani, the person that we've been discussing, someone who's now emerged as one of the people who may just know what really happened. He's the one who found the body. He's known to be part of the inner circle of Shushant and Ria's uh, team. And now he is currently there in ED. Remember, he had skipped the summons which were given to him earlier he however has been questioned and is going to be questioned again today even as we speak we can see Priyank there as well as uh, we can see Priyank as well as uh, Kajal who are there getting us the very latest from outside the enforcement directorate's office uh, Priyank we can see you now uh, can you tell us has uh, Pitani arrived at the ED headquarters and do we expect him to be interrogated soon what is going to be the line of questioning Uh, see, uh, Meghna, uh, Siddharth Patani had just reached the uh, Enforcement Directorate office. He was uh, sent uh, summons to join the probe today. And uh, he is the sixth individual who is right now inside the Enforcement Directorate office right here in Mumbai, uh, who is being questioned, uh, who will be in fact in, within few minutes from now, after he'll do the formality, uh, be questioned by the Enforcement Directorate. Early in the morning, we saw uh, that uh, Shruti Modi and uh, uh, you know Shah, the chartered accountant and manager of Sushant Singh Rajput, had joined the investigation later to that what we saw uh, what Pirani, what do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled against you what do you have to say for the allegations that have been Pirani, what do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled against you what do you have to say for the allegations that have been Pirani, what do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled against you what do you have to say for the allegations that have been well, whom you just heard right now was our reporter, Vajiullah. He was asking Pitani a very straightforward question. What do you think of the allegation? Understandably, he's dug the question. He's run into the ED headquarters. Remember, he's got a whole day of questioning ahead of him. Let me go back across to Priyank. Priyank, we just uh, saw uh, Vajiullah trying to put in a question to Pitani, but Clearly, the kind of discrepancies which he's been making in the statements two times now itself, he's got good reason, I believe, not to answer any more questions. Uh, yes, Sati Meghna, Vaji is also with me. Uh, Vaji, we have been asking these characters uh, regarding the allegation which has been put in against them. But no one is coming forward and talking while uh, they, are reaching, uh, they are reaching the Enforcement Directorate office. There are six individuals who are right now inside the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, what did Siddharth Patani told you? Like Siddharth Patani came in quietly. He wasn't, nobody was aware of the initially when he walked in. It's only when he reached near the gate is when we realized that this is Patani and that's when we all started asking him a question. Not just him, but if we see the entire team of Ria hasn't spoken anything since the time they've been coming to ED and it's not today that they've come to ED office. They've been here uh, day before yesterday also, before that also. And it's been a long session of questioning which has been going on. And uh, there are uh, large, uh, grave questions that the father has alleged against him. And those are the same questions that we have been asking. And those are the allegations that have been leveled against them with regarding their financial transactions, with regarding the financial exploitation that has been. And Sidani, uh, Siddharth Pitani, as we know, is one of the main characters in this entire thing because he was connected to the both Ria and Sushan in some way or the other. And that is why his uh, him being here at the questioning today is a big thing because now it now this uh, enforcement director will be able to piece in to get things together because everybody of Team Ria is there, everybody against whom the allegation is is right now at the enforcement direct. So we'll wait He's and the watch. middle person who knew. Uh, Sushant also and Ria also. Uh, there you heard uh, Meghna Vaji uh, attempted to ask question right. to Pitani, but uh, as usual, Pitani did not right. uh, re respond to the question. But uh, time and again, uh, in the news uh, to Navika Kumar, he has been quite seen, uh, uh, you know, changing statement very frequently. And that is perhaps the reason why he's been questioned now by the Enforcement Directorate, but uh, because all the statements that he's been making have been contradictory. What is he trying to hide? Stay with us. Vaji Ullah tried speaking to uh, Siddharth Pitani. This is what happened. Pirani, what do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled against you? What do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled Pirani, what do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled against you? What do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled Pirani, what do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled against you? What do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled Pirani, what do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled against you? What do you have to say for the allegations that have been Pirani, what do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled against you? What do you have to say for the allegations that have been 
Pirani, what do you have to say for the allegations that have been leveled against you? What do you have to say for the allegations that have been... Well, let me go across to Kajal Ayer, our Bureau Chief. She's also outside the Enforcement Directorate's office. Kajal, you need to explain to us why this man, Pitani, is central to the entire larger scheme of trying to figure out what really happened that day. <clears throat> The family actually alleges, Sushant Singh's family, that between 8th and 14th is whatever went down that happened. And between 8th and 14th, given the fact that Riya Chakrabarti had actually moved out of that apartment, the only person who was there was Siddharth Pitani. Siddharth Pitani also was the person who called in that key maker. And Siddharth Pitani was also the person who tried to bang the door when he realized that, uh, when, when he claims he realized that Sushant Singh Rajput did not open the door. Uh, so he uh, was a roommate. He was also handling some of the financial financial transactions. He was also acting as a go-between uh, 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 to send messages to Sushant. If you uh, notice his brother-in-law's messages, some of them were actually addressed to Siddharth Pitani and Siddharth Pitani was supposed to show it to Sushant Singh Rajput. Similarly, uh, Sushant used to sometimes send messages that he wanted to send to other people to Siddharth asking them if he was not on talking terms or if he was otherwise indisposed. So, Siddharth Pitani knows a lot of things. He was there, uh, present at that house 24-7 throughout the lockdown, throughout those seven days uh, leading up to Sushant Singh Rajput's death. So he knows a lot of things. Uh, he would be the person who would know the, uh, 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 know the mental state of the actor. He would be the person who would know what really went down in that house when Rhea and family used to live uh, with Sushant Singh Rajput. Which is why he's very key for the CBI's and uh, the Mumbai police's investigation, whichever way it goes in the Supreme Court hearing. The ED, of course, will be interested in the financial dealings because there were times when payments that Sushant had to do were done via Siddharth Pitani. So these things are uh, these things are going to be the main things that he's being questioned on. The other aspects, the CBI or the Mumbai police, whoever gets the jurisdiction, will be questioning him on. Well, do stay on with us. We are going to be slipping into a short break, but here on Times Now, we want to hear from you, the viewers. Do you think there is something amiss and the police should perhaps look into the foul play angle completely ruled out to by the Maharashtra government? That's the question we are asking. If you want to weigh in, the numbers, they're flashing at the bottom of your screens. We're going to have those numbers, but only after a short break. Don't go anywhere. Several of our viewers, uh, Mr. Rajpal, Dr. Ashok, Nishanda are, of course, there with us. We'll hear their views in a bit as well. Welcome back. You're watching Times Now. We're getting you the very latest from outside the Enforcement Directorate's headquarters in Mumbai. Well, even as we speak, Rhea Chakravarti, her father Indrajit and brother Shovik are being quizzed by the central agency. All of this regarding the financial angle under the PMLA, which is being probed. So let me go back across uh, to uh, Priyank Tripathi, who's getting us the very latest as well as Kajal Ayer. Uh, Priyank, if you can tell us a quick lowdown of all the several discrepancies with the ED is looking into. Well, let me put that same question across to Kajal. Kajal. Well, of course, uh, the uh, Enforcement Directorate is going to be asking him about uh, various discrepancies in the finances and also uh, the kind of payments or the kind of, uh, uh, you know, acting as uh, uh, the go-between uh, that uh, Siddharth Pathani used to do uh, on behalf of uh, Sushant Singh Rajput and also about the fact that whether uh, uh, during his uh, time with Sushant Singh Rajput he had witnessed any wrangling for money because that is one of the uh, major things that the ED is investigating. Uh, given the fact that Siddharth Pathani was uh, Sushant's roommate, uh, he uh, they would try to ask if he witnessed any fights with respect to money, if he witnessed any friction with respect to money going on in the household and what is it that he knew about the finances of Sushant Singh Rajput and the various expenses uh, that Sushant's uh, family allege were untoward in nature. We'll keep tracking the developments on that front. Thank you so much, Kajal, for getting us the very latest. For the time being, however, a short break, we're going to return with the fastest and most accurate updates.